How's it going everyone? My name is Jermaine Grant. Today I'm going to show you the Blackmagic RAW and Premiere Pro workflow. So if you've shot in Blackmagic RAW codec, the first thing you need to do when you come to your computer is you need to come to this website and download the Blackmagic RAW plugin. So come over to this website here, blackmagicdesign.com slash support. I'll attach the link to the website in the description below and you need to download the Blackmagic RAW update or download the latest RAW update. So if you're Mac or Windows, just click this link, enter the details and download the plugin if you do not download it you will not be able to work with your footage you won't be able to play it back on your computer and you won't be able to play it back within premiere pro once you do download the plugin you'll see that all your files are playable and what you want to do is you want to import your footage into premiere pro i'm going to drag a couple of clips into my timeline and now the footage is playable now if you want to access the raw features what you need to do is you need to come in the effects controls panel and right next to the clip name in the effects control panel you'll see another tab here with master on it click the master tab and you'll be able to have all the features that the raw codec gives you such as color temperature white balance iso now once you're aware of where to find the raw settings my workflow is as soon as i import the footage because my computer is not really strong enough to handle the black magic raw codec i like to create proxies so what i'll do is i'll select a couple of clips right click come over to proxy and then select create proxies now first thing i'm going to say is you never ever want to create proxies in H.264 format. So I'm going to select format and click on QuickTime. Once I've done that, I'm going to select preset. Now Premiere Pro creates proxy presets in the same exact width and height of the footage you captured. So you no longer have to create custom ingest presets. You will, however, have to create an ingest preset if you want your proxies to have a watermark so you can visually determine when you have your proxies turned off or on. So I'm going to go and select high resolution ProRes proxy. And I'm going to select now where I want my proxies to be stored. That's fine. And I'm going to go click OK. What Premium Pro is going to do right now is open up Media Encoder and it's going to start the process of creating those proxies for you. Now, while it's doing that, you can still edit within Premiere Pro. Once the proxies are created, you want to click this button here, toggle proxies. When it's blue, it will indicate that the proxies are on. And when it's not blue, it indicates the proxies are off. If the toggle proxies button is not here for you, click on the plus icon. This menu will pop up. Click and drag the toggle proxies icon below into the highlighted blue area. That's the end of the tutorial. Let me know what your workflow is in the comments below. My name is Jermaine Grant and I'll see you again next time. Take care. Goodbye.